Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be transferring all of the data from this 2018 MacBook Pro to this new M2 Pro MacBook Pro. We're gonna be using the migration assistant tool from Apple to do this. So it's gonna be relatively easy, but we're gonna guide you through every step of the process. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I've just opened this computer for the first time. If you guys wanna see the unboxing video for that, we'll have the link in the description. But once you connect to your network, we'll get to this page here, which says Migration Assistant. And I'm gonna keep the first option, which is from a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk. I'll press Continue. And here it wants me to connect my Mac to power. So I'm gonna grab a charger and plug it in. All right, so we've got some information here on this page. We first have to make sure that the other Mac time capsule or disk that we're transferring is connected to the same network or directly connected to the Mac. So in this case, they're both on the same network and we have to open the Migration Assistant app from the old computer. All right, so here we are on the old computer. We're gonna open up our applications and we're gonna open the utilities folder. And then right here, we're gonna double click to open the Migration Assistant. Press continue. We'll need to enter our user password for this profile. This is the password that you have saved on your Mac. And we'll wait for that to log out. Again, it wants us to plug in the power, so I'm gonna grab a charger for this guy and we'll plug this one in as well. All right, so both Macs are connected to power. And at this point, we're ready to start the process. So we're gonna go back over to the other Mac and we're gonna select Gabe's MacBook Pro. This is the old one, and we'll press continue. Now here it's suggesting that I update the Mac to the latest software before we go ahead and do the migration. So that's always a good idea, and we'll go ahead and press update. All right guys, so the update has finished. That took about 20 or 30 minutes, so it definitely can take a while. Uh, at this point, we're gonna select my computer again. We're selecting the old one here, and we're gonna press continue. And then here we're matching up the codes. And on the old Mac, we have to press continue. All right, so at this point, we can check or uncheck what information we want to transfer to the new computer. And I'm gonna leave everything the way that it is, except for this other user, because I just don't need that. And we'll press continue. And here we can set a password. This is gonna be used to log into this Mac. And once you have the password in, we'll press set. And we'll press continue. And here we'll just check agree and we'll press agree again. And now we're gonna let it transfer all of the data. So this is probably gonna take a while. So we'll fast forward and see you guys once this is finished. All right guys, so we've initiated the transfer of data between these two computers. It's currently telling me a 10 hour remaining time. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here because once this is done, you simply log in and all of your information is gonna be there. So again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. If you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.